you have to approach this with the fact that you have to be prepared. That's why dad goes to work and he trains guns. That's why dad does combatives. That's why dad does jujitsu. That's why dad does all these things. So I can be better prepared for a deadly encounter. And we, it, being a police officer, it can't just be a job. It's a profession and it's a profession that has to be your freaking number one hobby. And that's cool if you like to shoot and that's cool if you like to do jujitsu and that's cool if you like to fish, but is fishing going to help you be a better cop? No, it's not. Is it going to help you to have a full career and make it to retirement, you know, with all your freaking limbs attached? No, it's not. So, I mean, and I'm not, you know, you should do those things for sure, but almost being a police officer has to be your number one freaking hobby. You have to be constantly looking at, you know, street cop podcasts and listening to guys, you know, like I just listened to the one you got, you had a guy on talking about complacency and man, I brought that back to my department. I'm like, you got to listen to this shit. Like this is shit that we do every day that we don't have to do. And, and, and we're doing it for reasons that, oh, we don't want to be the guy that's asking for a back because it makes us look weak. Or we're mad that that more senior officer is going to give us a hard time or whatever. It's like, no, we need to do this shit the right way all the time and be consistent in our workouts and our training combatives and our firearms training and staying up to date on case law so we can make sound decisions.